Good morning. It's currently 6.55 in the morning. I'm on my way to work after a fantastic night sleeping in my car. That's right, folks. I sleep in my car and I have a full-time job. And I go to school full-time, too. Giggity, giggity. All right. But anyway, I uh, headed to work. Well, yeah, I'm headed to work. And uh, I was thinking about some stuff that people who don't live in their cars won't know unless you start living in your cars, right? So, first things first. Where are you living? in your car are you living in like a rural area are you living in an urban area are you living in like the countryside i live i do urban car dwelling which means that i'm always near people always no matter where i'm at i'm near people so my techniques are going to be different than somebody who's not in that area so i can't even talk about the other stuff i'm only going to talk about urban car dwelling yo you cannot, under any circumstances, stick out like a sore thumb. You just can't. I personally haven't had any issues with the cops for one reason and one reason alone. I don't stick out. I don't drive a fancy car. Um, I don't make a whole lot of noise. When it's time to go to sleep, I go to sleep. And that's really what needs to happen for a lot of people. You need to make sure that you're utilizing stealth techniques. You're covering up your windows so nobody can see in your car. When I go back there at night, when you go to lay down, don't move around like an elephant. You gotta, you gotta move like a ninja back there because if somebody sees your car shaking, they're gonna call the cops. It's as simple as that. Think about it. When you lived in a house, let me cover up my company logo. Uh, when you lived in a house, if a random car showed up on your street and there was some, some person sleeping in there, you would, the first thought in your mind would be like, why are they sleeping in their car? Right? Anybody's, anybody's, you know, reaction. Because the world that we live in is full of terrorists and people who are jerk-offs who do stuff to other people for no apparent, well, I mean, they have their own reasons. But they want to hurt people and do mean stuff. So when, when strange cars just show up out of nowhere and stick around, people call the cops. You can't get mad at them for that. I mean, it sucks, but... It's not the 1930s anymore where, you know, you, you know, somebody shows up, you say, hey, how you doing? And you, and you, you offer them food and stuff. You just don't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, utilize some stealth techniques. Be smart about it. Um, don't be arrogant about sleeping in your car, okay? It's not a good idea, especially if the cops come up to you and they start talking to you and questioning you. Just be honest. Be truthful. If they tell you to move on, move on. Don't give them a hard time because... If, you, if a cop comes up to you and they're being nice and you put them in a bad mood, chances are you're going to get a citation, a ticket, some, or they're going to find something to write you for because you pissed them off. So, yeah, don't be pissing people off. Um, I'm at work, so God bless. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.